Hello guys, welcome to Life Around the Koi Pond. Hasn't it been bloody cold? <laughs> hey, Jesus. But, they haven't been too bad. I haven't really bothered these so much. They've been swimming about like good ones. Temperature's about, about five and a half centigrade is the uh, pond. And uh, yeah, yeah, don't seem to affect them at all. We've had a good bit of snow this morning. Starting to thaw out now though. Bloody stuff. Yeah, yeah we've got about maybe two inches over the night. Just thawing out, turning to slush, turning to crap. Um, yeah, that's... That's horrible. Absolutely bloody horrible. Yeah. Dog can't stand it. Took him for a walk tonight. He didn't want to come out. Didn't want to come out. He he don't he don't like walk, water anywhere. Walks around puddles. Sulks when he gets a shower. Hates everybody. But yeah, I've uh, went shopping yesterday, went through to Hull, and uh, and I bought a TV on stuff for sale. And I bought this beauty. Yoo-hoo, look at that. Samson, 32 inch TV, 10 quid, boom, back of the net. Now, this phone isn't really doing it much justice to be fair, that picture's a damn sight better. Um, when I switch the outside light off, like that. It's blue. Look at that. It's alright, isn't it? Look at that air. Woohoo! Light on. Light on. So, when the fish come right up to the screen, up to the camera, and you can see everything. Absolutely everything. They ain't got a clue what it is. Um, but this afternoon um, we noticed that the water had dropped in the moving bed so we're scouring about noticed we had a bit of a leak with the uh, straight connectors between the vortexes so I put a rubber boat there and I'll put a new straight connector there now I'm going to get another rubber boat for that um, because I've noticed when you clean these filters out and you empty them obviously with them no water in them they're really light uh, so you clean them out, they move about you fill them up and eventually the rubber seal on the straight slip collars, the collars themselves, they must have perished over time. So I'm gonna get a rubber boat for there, four inch rubber boat. And that should uh, sort it out. But me and my wife <laughs> oh, uh, that wasn't the only thing that went wrong um, in there in the moving bed it's a Nancy with a cage on it with a with a invert connector 4 inch invert connector and that had come off worked its way off 
So all the K1 headed straight to the pump. Oh, it didn't like it. Didn't like it whatsoever. It was making so many noises, then it eventually stopped. So, switched everything off, emptied, emptied the vortexes and uh, we got soaked because we had to disconnect them, disconnect the pump and when you disconnect the pump you get in all the water and all the K1 and it went everywhere and I mean everywhere K1 was going everywhere so my wife was panicking I was trying to calm her down while we're chattering, you know, while we're chattering, freezing cold, trying to sort the problem out. But we eventually did it. I um, I put some of that my my pond sealant MS three hundred around it, slammed it back in, and as it says on the tube, it does go off in water which is which is brilliant now this this is fantastic um, I'm not going to bang on too much about cameras and stuff I've done that before now I've just got to add you know um, people with covers over their ponds this would this would benefit you guys um, because you can't see your fish because you know you've covered them up for the winter but to have a little camera underwater watching your fish keeping your eye on them this would be ideal because you can see what they're getting up to especially if your ammonia goes up or anything like that you have any problems you can spot them hello Mildred yeah, there she goes, swimming about, doing her stuff. Yeah, look at that uh, mini tornadoes and everything. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, hey, this is brilliant. This is this is what it's all about. You know, it's what it's all about keeping fish to me, watching them. You don't have to be stood at the side of the pond watching them. You can be sat in. You can be sat in in your own living room watching them and while I've wired this up is a it's just a, a scarf lock into the back of the TV with three connectors two of them for sound one for video I've just plugged into the video one and uh, from the camera and then a power lead to the camera and then obviously a power lead from the TV and that's it plug and play because the computer doesn't work because I'm an idiot so I go downloading programs with viruses which cock them up and I went and when I went to go and pick this up with my son Nathan you know he was giggling and laughing over the fact that I did that but you know things we do yeah we had a good night we had a good night good chat but yeah yeah, I can't stress enough how good these really are. So, it's only a quick video. I hope you've managed to like... Oh, hey, look at that. <whistles> That's the albino grass. Grass cat, whipping about. Look at that. And they come right up to the camera. They haven't got a clue what it is. And they don't know who's watching. But yeah. So I hope you managed to get all your pipes lagged. And your filters covered up in this. This bad. Uh, this bad spell of winter. It's horrible. And. Uh, Mildred. Alright. Look at that. Majestic. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I just it was only a quick video of this. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.